happy Saturdays everyone and a welcome to a bank holiday weekend. It's actually going to be a nice weekend by the looks of it, which is a bit um, of a one-off <laughs> in the UK. I'll tell you, normally on bank holidays it pisses down with rain. So yeah, that's the first bit of video in I've done since um, we got back from Wales. And uh, that was a brilliant trip, must admit, really enjoyed that. Loved the tent, loved the jackeries, loved how that kept us going with electric. And I'm absolutely confident that obviously during sort of, you know, the summer months, maybe up to mid-autumn, that would probably keep that kind of thing going, you know, the, the, um, the, the, what do you call it? The thing that keeps me beer cool, the fridge, that's it. Kept me fridge cold, kept all our lap, my laptops going, which is, is, it's not a power hungry laptop, but it's got a huge battery in it. So it's a MacBook Pro Max 16 inch thing or something, but awesome thing. So yeah, so kept that going, all our phones and all that sort of stuff. If you watch that video, then you know anyway. So yeah, absolutely love that. I'll probably get the little baby Jackery out today and I'm gonna run my laptop out here. I might do a bit of drawing and a bit of arty farty stuff. Then I'll watch F1 qualifying. At least going off paddle boarding. And uh, apart from that, I don't really know what else we're going to do over this weekend. So Lee was supposed to be going to a barbecue on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, but her sister's got the old, <coughs> what a load of bollocks that is. I'm still telling you it's a load of bollocks. And talking about bollocks, I think perhaps also this weekend I might um, do a few for living on a ditch, have a little bit of a rant. Cause I haven't had a good rant for ages. And I'll tell you, I've got a lot to say about this electricity bollocks or the energy bills and uh, also about electric cars. What a load of bollocks it all is, honestly. It's all a load of bollocks. But anyway, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a few on there. Definitely gotta do a few on there. So I'm gonna have a little rant in the garden. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I thought I'd just say hello. And uh, look, I haven't got a tan in Wales. I haven't had a shave since I come back. <laughs> I don't grow very quickly on the old beard. It'd take me about a year to look like Father Christmas. <laughs> anyway, bye. As it's Bank Holiday Monday, there's quite a few people up here this weekend. A bit more activity than normal, which is nice to see. I could be wrong, but this is the fourth um, hire boat I've seen them seemingly to be putting them away. So they're backing them back down towards the um, storage point, I guess, where they leave them rather than them being out on the cut. So maybe that's the end of their season or they just haven't got that many bookings. It doesn't seem to have been that much higher boat movement this year, I must admit. When we've been out on the cut, it's been quite quiet. So I would have thought this year, especially, there'd have been a hell of a lot more people out and about. They just don't seem to have been. If I'm not mistaken, that boat used to be called Lord Portal, and it was, um, more of a burgundy colour so he's had a new paint job it looks lovely by the way and it's called may rose now so it's always hard getting these bigger boats out of this marina because there's not a lot of room he's done that magnificently i have to say very good well done i love the new paint job thank you it's really nice yeah, mate. yeah that was expertly done Expertly done! <laughs> Thought I'd make myself a lovely cup of tea. That's my little Trangia stove. It's actually a TBS version of it. But I did also buy this one, which came with that little stand. And this one's absolute shit. So I don't know why this one don't work very well, but it don't. So uh, I remember that when um, Lisa and Derek were down here with Benji and they tried to do a pizza on this one, it took forever. So um, don't buy cheap shit, buy a proper Trangia or a TBS, the Bushcraft store ones. And uh, they seem to work, bye. I could probably do one of those little guards around it. You know, one of the wind breaks because these are quite susceptible to wind. So it takes a little bit longer to cook your water. <laughs> Boil your water. I <laughs> keep saying cook the water. Bye. I read an interesting article in the, um, I think it was, yeah, the Telegraph this morning. I do do my newspaper rounds, you see. And it was uh, talking about electric vehicles and uh, basically a bit of a scam going on. Is it a scam? Well, I've said it's bollocks from the start anyway. Electric vehicles are a nonsense. 
what it was saying they were comparing a jaguar i think it was an i-pace which is a little suv type thing electric and that, that has a range of 290 miles and they were pitting that against the f-pace which is the petrol version of it and at 400 miles um with fuel petrol costs around 50 pounds now the i-pace which is the electrical equivalent keep along <laughs> That only has a range of 280 or 290 miles anyway, so you'd have to charge it on your journey. And also, with the electricity bills, what they're estimating from October, it will cost you £99 more to do 400 miles. And that wasn't just the I-Pace, they also did a similar thing with the Kia Electric, and that turned out £88 more on electric. And also, how are these um, electric cars getting charged anyway? They're hardly saving the planet because let's be honest they're being charged how do you think the electricity that goes into the batteries is being produced so basically they're a fossil fuel storage system that's my take on it anyway but yeah that's quite shocking isn't it bye i think we're done We're going to have some peppermint tea. That's what we're going to have today. Well, that took about 25 minutes to boil that kettle of water. Now it was um, three of these, or near as damn it, three of those. The only reason it took that long really is because it needs a wind guard around it. So I'll probably try and get hold of one of those fine for when you're cooking in a tent or something like that but out here I say it's not that windy but when I protected it with my hand it boiled a lot quicker so and there's something nice about doing cooking your tea outside or <laughs> boiling the kettle outside because I could have quite easily just gone in the boat and it took five less than five minutes but um no nah, there's something nice about doing it like this yeah and it's hot and peppermint tea I like peppermint tea you wouldn't have thought so as my beerist would you yeah, that is hot. They said I don't always drink beer. <laughs> Bye. Lazy but mighty, I say. He loves being outside, does Hector. But have a guess what I love. Beer o'clock. Bye. Yes, indeed. It's time for a beer and to watch F1 qualifying. It's a nice day. I'm quite happy sitting here on my own. Lee still isn't back from paddleboarding. She's still on Tut River. She's gone off to the River Neen, by the way. So she's not on the canal. She's with her friend Bridget. Bye. Lee. Yes. What are you doing? Changing the gas bottle. Into what? A teapot. Huh. <laughs> Full moon. It's funny, when you start running out of gas on a boat, you can kind of smell it. Can't you, Lee? Yes. You, you probably can't hear, Lee. But yeah, you turn the water heater on and stuff like that. You think, mm, I can smell some gas. And that's when you're indicated that the gas is running out. But luckily, we have a whole new bottle. So Lee's changing it over. If I was a gentleman, I'd go out and do it for her. But I'm watching the football. Bye. One was a gentleman in the end. And one did take the gas bottle out for the lady and uh, swap the other one over and undone the valve and etc etc so we have run out of gas on one bottle and we do have an extra one which is a uh, full so i've um, now located the new bottle or the old bottle sorry to the um tour over there so we'll replace that pretty quickly because we know gas prices are going to go up don't we so we might as well repair that uh, not repair <laughs> replace that straight away but let me tell you something else um the coal here i believe it was between uh, i think it was about 12 pound or 12 pound 60 or 80 or something like that and um have a guess what it's gone up to same coal it's gone up to 18 pounds so around about four quid more for a bag now considering a bag doesn't even last a week it's a bag and a half a week for us or close to two bags to be fair 
That adds a hell of a lot more money per, over winter, doesn't it? I tell you, we'll have to start burning trees and other people's boats and stuff. It's all too much. It is all too much, I say. And you know it's all contrived. There's lots of li these little jigsaw puzzle pieces falling into place. And I'm going to talk about that on Living in a Ditch. You've got to see my energy thing on there. I'm going to try and record that over the weekend. I'm telling you, it's bollocks. Bye. He's going to do what, Lee? I was going to put the stuff back, then I remember that you took the gas bottle out, so I thought we might as well wait till tomorrow then. Why, well, is it going to change in the morning? <laughs> well, we'll get another gas bottle in the morning. <laughs> You're leaving me again tomorrow, you just told me. She yeah, left but... me today with a, 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 a lesbian lover. Stop and you're going out again tomorrow with your lesbian lover, aren't you? You have to video it, Lee, otherwise I'm not going to be happy. Yeah, you tell him, Hector. Lee's got a new friend. <laughs> haven't you, Lee? She's not that new. Mm. So I'm going to all on my own again tomorrow. Oh. You'd already told me that you'd be uh, busy with your sporting And day. in the afternoon. From about 12 midday. No, I didn't. That's a lie. Blatant lie. I thought it was 12 midday. No, blatant lie. Well, no, it wasn't a blatant lie. Don't be so... Whatever the word is. <laughs> the <God>. cock. <laughs> <laughs> You've got Aston Villa and Formula One. Formula One... Yeah, but both at the same time, Lynn, that, and that's really confusing trying to watch two tellies at the same the, time. Well, you normally, that's the only multitasking... But we were going to go to go outdoors in the morning, and now we're not because Lee's got a new friend. She said, can we leave it till Monday? Because <laughs> she's got a new friend. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Lee? Yes? Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> are you? What about... We're going to cook some water. We are. We're going to end the day like we started the day and we're going to have a lovely cup of tea. So I'm going to um, light the trangia again and um, do another cup of water and bollocks bite. It looks a bit more dramatic in the evening, doesn't it? The old flame. <laughs> what do you think, Lee Lawson? Ooh. Hey? Yeah, it's burning out the side. <laughs> I'll tell you. It does look I just pumped and it smells by. It's <sighs> grim. Yeah, it's grim. I agree. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Night tonight, everyone. Night tonight. You've got to love a custard egg. Good morning, Lee Lawson. Good morning. What day is it? <laughs> Sunday. Just leave me alone. There's tension on. <laughs> Funny that we start videoing. <laughs> I don't know whether you lot heard that. <laughs> it's all too much, I'll say. It is funny. I can't remember what I was going to say now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going out. You're leaving me again, aren't you? Why yes. do you give the... Where are you going? Els Barton. With well, your new friend again, away. aren't you? You could do a video called The Scissor Sisters Go Do Water Sports. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> anyway, we started the day off with a nice cup of tea again outside, didn't we? Cheers. So, yeah, so Lee's off out say leave me all alone I'm quite a lonely bloke you know and uh, <laughs> so I suppose I'll have to watch football and F1 and they're oh, both yeah, on the same time I think I might have said that yesterday yeah, but did. yeah, yeah but it's so irritating I tell you it's all too much <laughs> see you later <laughs> bye right then I'm all set up for my afternoon so I've got F1 on my iPad thingy there and I will be streaming my football up there I've got my beer and there's half hour to go. Then I've got to try and watch two things at once, bye. Ooh. <laughs> it is a long way down, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I always
always think, am I going to stand up okay? <laughs> or am I going to fall off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't fall in, don't fall in. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, it's a bit of windy. Oh. And again, the silt would sort of build up and he'd be, you know, on the tilt. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, we saw that yesterday. Morning. Five on five, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dragged it from one side to the other. This is the weedy bit. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, great.
I've had a little wander down to the naughty bench. Not the naughty bench. This is the thinking bench by Gnome's Bridge. Because sometimes you just want to be on your own, don't you? Sometimes you have these little downers. I don't want to bring everyone else down watching this vlog, but sometimes that's just the way it is. So I thought I'd come here and have a little think. I might pop over to the field and have a proper chat with you in a minute, but sometimes things are just shit and you don't really know why they're shit. Sometimes things piss you off and you don't really know why they piss you off. And I'm kind of just trying to tell you this so that you know you're not alone. You see, we all have these little moments. And uh, as this is my diary, when all said and done, the vlog couple is our diary. And uh, sometimes we've got to show the shit bits too. So we'll have a chat in a minute. Dilly dilly everyone. Yeah, I think sometimes things just get on top of you, don't they? And you don't really understand why. I'll be honest with you, I'm sitting there and thinking, well, why am, I, why am I feeling irritated? Why am I feeling on edge? I don't actually know why. Well, I kind of do, I guess. I am irritated at the world. I'm irritated at fucking idiots, to be honest with you. I've got no more time for people who are um, advocating the old Yale looks, if you get what I mean. Think about that, Yale Downs. And people who keep going on about the old arm patting. Because recently I've been seeing the effects on people around me, people that are very close to me. And um, it makes me want to cry what's going on. I, honest to God, I, honest to God, I'm looking you straight in the eyes now. I think what's been going on over the last two to three years is the biggest disaster in, certainly in my lifetime. Is that melodramatic? No, it's not. It's not. I swear to God, it's not. Something very bad is going on. And as I say, I'm seeing people very close to me suffering for it and it's and I see things on Twitter not just Twitter but social media in, in general where if you say anything I could say you know all of my family have died because of the you know the old arm pat and they would come back and say you're talking shit wankers they not, have no idea about other people's lives I know Twitter's not the real world, and uh, this probably isn't the real reason that I'm feeling a bit pissed off at the moment, but it, it, it's, it's part of it. It's part of the jigsaw. And uh, another thing that irritates me, which really shouldn't irritate me, but it does, and I'm sorry, it just does. Sometimes I feel second best to um, things like WhatsApp. I'll have a conversation with people and they're more interested in what's going on on their mobile phone than actually listen to what you say. Now, perhaps what I'm saying is bollocks and they can't be asked to be interested in it. That's fair enough, I guess. But, um, yeah, I see this all the time. And I, and I know people think I'm going over the top about it, but I'm not. You know, I, I despise these bloody mobile devices. And here I am sitting recording on a mobile device. But at least I try and use mine creatively. It ain't a bloody WhatsApp machine. I absolutely despise WhatsApp. I honest to God to do. Hearing, you know, early hours of the morning, not early hours of the morning, but first thing in the morning, you hear bzz, bzz, bzz on someone else's phone. And you think, are you fucking having a laugh? And I know, I know, it's, um, it's probably a little bit over the top, the way I'm feeling at the moment, but that is part of it. It's all these little things. 
I'm feeling a little bit trapped. I don't know why. I'm feeling like I'm, maybe it's boredom. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's jealousy, seeing other people doing awesome things and then me not doing anything. But that's really bad, isn't it? Because I've got a fabulous life. Just look where I am right now. So there is that in my head. So what I'm trying to get across here is that sometimes when you feel down, okay, and you don't know why, you're not the only one that feels like that because it happens to us all every now and again. And I think it's important that you know that, that you know you're not the only one out there. And I'm waffling on. I say, this is my diary. And um, sometimes you just have to say how you're feeling, even though you feel like a little bit of a snowflake telling everyone. But yeah. So obviously I've come out and uh, left Lee at the boat. I, th I think she's a bit pissed off with me. I don't really know why. It just felt when she came back from um, paddleboarding today, she, it just felt like she didn't really want to speak to me. I don't know whether she thought I was in a bad mood. I don't know. But um, I did get irritated a little bit because she's starting to show me a video, this, this vertical video, and I'm sorry. People who do vertical video are retards, and I'm sick to death of it. I know that's a stupid thing to get irritated about, but it does, it fucking irritates me so much. Because I think, holy shit, how retarded are you? Turn your phone around and do a proper video. So I won't watch it. I absolutely refuse to watch them. So if you've got vertical videos on, our, on, on all our channels and stuff, I ain't going to watch it. Simple as that. Is that harsh? <laughs> but it's true. So just so you know, it's really easy to turn your phone around. Look at me. I've got mine landscape now, haven't I? Yeah. It's really not difficult. What else? I watch a guy called Bull Hansen, um, or Bjorn Talks, and he's a very calm fella. He's from Norway, and I, f I find him so soothing, but he tells so much truth, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of in tune with him. He's into his nature stuff and his surroundings, and um, I think he explains things a lot better than I can. So if you do a little YouTube search for Bull Hansen or Beyond Talks from Norway and have a little listen to him, perhaps, just perhaps, you kind of see where I'm coming from. His videos are quite long and um, he's a bit of an oddball. Very nice bloke, don't get me wrong, he's not a nutter, but he's um, different. So I'd watch some of that. So yeah. I'm feeling a bit calmer because it's absolutely beautiful to be out here. It's beautiful to be out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm up near Gnome's Bridge, just by the Thinking Ventures you've just seen. I'm just watching the sun go down. And this is nothing against Lee, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I just need to get away because I don't want to have a pop at her either. I don't want her to feel that I'm having a go at her, and I'm not. I just feel sometimes she... Um... No, that's wrong. I don't feel she doesn't understand because she does understand me. But sometimes I think... I just think I need to be left alone. And she left me alone, so fair play to her. Hence me coming out and having a little wander and a little chat to the old video camera. Aye. So she doesn't really watch our vlogs anyway. It's not really a... Um... And, I, and maybe that's another thing that pisses me off a little bit. I'm sorry, Lee, but she, don't, she ain't that interested in our vlogs. It's not um, a two-person thing, to be honest. They're my vlogs. Um... I kind of have to coerce her into picking up a camera. And fine, if that's 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 the way it is, I guess. You know, it's my thing, I guess, doing a little bit of video in and stuff. And I've been a bit lazy with our vlogs. I haven't done anything nice with me Blackmagic Cinema camera or anything, has I, have I? But I think that's kind of part of it. You start getting disillusioned with things and can't be asked, And you get lackadaisical and you start to procrastinate. And I think everything that's gone on in the last couple of years, that's what's happened to me. I feel like I can't be asked sometimes, and that's terrible. I think it's because, again, I don't want to sound like a snowflake, but we lost so much during all this, and it pisses me off when people are moaning about taxes and stuff. And I think, well, where the fuck did you think that furlough was going to be paid for? Seriously. And it just winds me up. I think, you dopey fucks. But what can you do? I know there's going to be people saying, yeah, yeah, we didn't have any choice. Well, you probably didn't, to be fair. So it's pretty, you know, perhaps individually it's not your fault. Well, it isn't, but it was the people on Facebook saying, oh, I support the older November Hotel Sierra and clapping like fucking seals. And the people who are sitting there in the garden saying, oh, I love this furlough while they're drinking their tinnies. They're thinking, well, yeah, 
Well, I got not one piece of help, and I'm paying for you now, you fuckers. And yeah, okay, I'm having a bit of a whine now, but that's just the way it is. That's how I see it. And sometimes you've got to say it how you see it, I say. You have. So I hope you, um, as I say, I'd, I've said this really so that people that are feeling the same way as me know they're not alone. I'm okay. I mean, I'll get over this really quickly. I'll have another couple of beers and be happy as a picking shit. But every now and again, I understand for people it gets to them. And on either side of the fence, you know, people who are pro things, people who are, you know, against things like me. But we all have our little moments, don't we? I say, you're not alone. I love you all. And um, I'm going to finish off my beer. I'm going to have a little wander back. And everything will be fine tomorrow. Bye. I guess where we're going, everyone. <laughs> no, we're not going to the manor. For a change. We're going to go outdoors again, aren't we, Lee? We are. <laughs> so we need a table, a different table. So I've kind of seen the one I'd like. Um, I want to get a pocket rocket too. <laughs> cool, I ain't had a pocket rocket for a long time. And uh, something else. Oh, and, and a windbreak or something. I don't know. We're going to have a look anyway. We're going to have a browse. We're going to have a browse and see. What we're... Oh, and better temp pegs, but I've got an idea for that. Bye. Are you doing your hair in the video camera? Yes. You weirdo. We've been quite restrained, haven't we? We've been in to go outdoors. <laughs> and we didn't buy shitloads of stuff. We bought a table um, with storage, another little, a littler one than the one we got. Um, we bought some tent pegs. Tent pegs. Arse chickens. No, we didn't buy any arse chickens. Um, we bought a little windbreak. Tall, but only a two-section one, because I thought it'd be better to get two of them than one big one. But we only bought one for now to see what that's like. Where else do we buy? You bought some shorts. Some shorts. Short what? <laughs> to wear on my paddleboard, although I'm not really sure about them. Yeah. So I need to look in um, Sports Direct or somewhere as well. Oh, okay. Sort of near, bye. But I bought them just in case. I can always take them back. Okay, but bye. <laughs> bye. Lee, <laughs> we're going to Ultimate Outdoors now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> to see what's in there. Indeed. Bye. Bye. Bet they've got no flipping gas. Or well, nearly blew a bubble then, bye. Right then, here's our wares. So we got a little wind break. We only wanted the baby one, as I said before. Just be so as a guard against um, cooking. And here's our new um, extra storage thing and table. And look at this awesome stove. What's it called, Lee? A pocket rocket too, I say. Comes highly recommended, so we'll make a cup of tea in a minute, bye. Here, look at this. So this is it on simmer. That's bad, isn't it? Bye. I forgot to show you, we got some uh, more temp pegs. Some more sturdy ones. These are for our guy lines. And obviously it's beer o'clock, bye. Hector's Give not giving me. the ball back. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you, he growled at her and everything. You're not allowed that way. <laughs> Leave it. Oi. Leave. 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 <laughs> Leave. <laughs> it's a little shit, honestly. Look at your teeth, how are you, Nick? Leave. Hector. Leave. You little bugger.
knees. <laughs> Let go. Let go. <laughs> Lee? Yes? Are we having a barbie? Yeah. She's cutting our Teflon sheets. It's funny how people slag us off a little bit for using these Teflon sheets, but we think they work brilliantly. Someone even said they give you cancer. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's some nutbags out there, isn't there? <laughs> bye. Lee, you didn't say bye. Oh, sorry, bye. I'm concentrating. <laughs> oh dear, the swing bridge has just claimed another victim. I shouldn't laugh because it's not nice. The lovely big Mercedes SUV thing. And they hit one of the posts and then reversed and it pulled all the front bumper off. It's all broken. It is a very narrow bridge, to be fair. So, you know, if I had a, I'd worry taking the mini across, let alone a great big thing like that. But yeah, happens quite frequently here. <laughs> shouldn't laugh, like I say. I shouldn't laugh, it's, it's nasty. Bye. <laughs>